we all do that, right? Let's see if that means anything by doing that. Okay, they fit. Bloody hell, they're tight. Good morning. I want to sort out the stuff that I'm not needing to wear because the weather has definitely kind of got warmer it's ticked up a bit in in new york it's gonna be the agenda for today just seeing what i put away why i put those things away and the kind of stuff that i'm thinking about and looking forward to wearing for spring before i do all that um i need to go into the city it is what time is it it's probably like 7 15 a.m i have to do um a shoot at a location at 8 a.m. Just putting some lippy on before I leave. So I wear this pink road dress with these sneakers. These are by Alexander McQueen. I've been have had my eye on these bloody things for so long so road dress from last year it comes with a belt i can't decide if i want to go with the belt or not so i'm just going to go like this um lipstick pink fuchsia matte you know i love bright lipsticks the majuri initial here um and that's it right i'm out yeah majuri or majuri all right let me go <laughs> okay so i'm back from the shoot i'm not sure if i showed you i had the stowed bag which is this one right here. That's definitely gonna be something I'll be wearing more of this season. Um, and let me show you the shoes really quickly that I had on. This is them and I like this. See they have like this holographic part. So when the sun is on them, wow, look at that. Clean shoe, true to size. I've got my usual, which is 41. Put down this like because we just didn't like it. This, listen, yeah, to, this, it listen to this. <laughs> it just sounds terrible. So we're gonna go with this one instead for now. Stationary lights now. Yeah, instead put it against the, screen. put it against the wall. So we were thinking, I don't know, in the middle maybe. Yeah. I know you were thinking a little bit closer. I don't know. Um, I like the idea of the middle. Definitely lower down though. Definitely yeah. where we had it. The lower, lower down where the so hole is drilled. More like that yeah, area. exactly. I just think it's Yeah. Yeah, I like it. This these may not be our lights that we end up really using. Um should I go a little closer? But it's definitely better than these. What do you think if I went just a little more towards the the panel? Yeah. Um how is that? Is that it's okay. But you still prefer it in the middle. Yeah, I do actually. Okay. Yeah. I'll mark it. The things we go through. We've got some new sheets in from Brooklyn in. This is probably like our second set, I think, from them, isn't it? From our, yes. Yeah. Oh, these feel really nice. Let's see. Oh, these are great. These are different. Oh, I love how wide this trimming is. We're kind of a bit of a snob when it comes to yeah. bed sheets. So we partnered with Brooklyn in because, like I said, we've, we've had their sheets before. Spent a lot of time on them. I know. I'm not getting out. Actually, Brooklyn Inn is having a, you must use this mirror. <laughs> they're having a birthday sale. So they're doing 20% off all the Brooklyn Inn um, bedding. So have a look. I'll leave a link for you below. It's a very good time to actually invest in these sheets. The sale runs from 4-27, so April 27th to May 5th. Our room is small, so we always have to think about what do we put in and this room is not finished by the way we're still working on it decor wise one third of your life they say is spent in your bed 
So you've got to make it, I mean, the most luxurious kind of experience, at least for me. They have um, like the classic and the Lux hardcore bundle sets. I think this is the classic that we have. And these range from like, I think it's like, I think it's between compare, right? Like 200 to 250 versus luxury like sets, which are like 400 plus. So you're getting, you're cutting out that middleman and having like that luxury, sheets without like that kind of you know luxury price tag of over 400 dollars they come in like i think it's like over 20 different colors and patterns so you can, I, like, I like those subtle patterns and yeah details yeah so it's not just like the white even though my favorite is the white but you know if you're someone that likes to like mix and match oh and these sheets are perfect for hot sleepers like me I was gonna say like Michael because these sheets are designed to keep you cool at night we always get like the full set so instead of buying like individual items we just get the hardcore bundle which is the core sheets it's the pillowcases and it's the duvet cover and when you do that you save 25% off <laughs> um, and these um, for me I don't want sheets to just look good I mean that's part of it but they've got to feel good as well I feel like I'm waking up with a giant marshmallow. I think it reminds me of like hotel sleeping, you know, the sheets. Yeah, because you know when you wake up that next morning, you're like, oh. I think you've got the point that we already, we, we love Brooklyn in sheets. I said to you before, they have a birthday sale. So 20% off on Brooklyn in bedding, April 27th to May 5th. I believe the link in the description box. Now to try and see if I could sort myself out with my closet. So the things that I'm sort of moving away from now that, like I said, it's getting a bit warmer, the space that I have to play with is limited. So I have to sort of rejig and reshuffle and figure out where I'm gonna put what. So I try and keep at eye level the things I'm thinking I'm going to be wearing the most at the moment. So what I did was I put sandals. So I'm keeping sandals here. I have, I know I've got three pairs of Chanel dad sandals. I know, I know, I know, I know. They're Marmite. I'm highly aware. Probably the vast majority of you hate them. It has to be something you love. So ones I picked up for this year, they have like a braided kind of design on them. I got these ones about I think I got these back in January. It was, I think there was still snow on the ground when I got these ones. I'll insert pictures of when I tend to wear these so you can get an idea. I feel like a chunkier shoe or sandal kind of balances me out. So I'm broad shoulders, that's what it is, right? I go across like that. So in order to sort of mirror this, I go with a chunkier shoe. I know about these already, I don't need to explain. Obviously, these are kind of like year-rounders at the moment. Gucci slides right now so I think these I'm probably gonna like put under the bed because we do have space under there love these so much very heavy and I'm just not wearing them at the moment so again this is something I'm gonna put I'm not wearing these at the moment these are still in McCartney boots I love to wear these with crop jeans I'll be a sweat box if I try and wear these during the springtime and the summer they're so 70s so I gotta keep those love a good loafer even in the spring, I think they look bad off, so I'm gonna hold on to those. So they're gonna stay here. I'll put on the screen every time we, I'm showing you some of these, so you get an examples of how I like to style them. So I've got the Bottegas. I still like to wear these, even in the summer, in the spring. More like in the spring, probably in the summer I won't wear these, but I love to wear, you know, you know how I like to wear boots with dresses and stuff like that. And up here also I've got the Gani, the Western boots, cream version of the Bottegas. But again, these I think I will wear more when it's cooler again. So I'm going to swap out some of these boots to put my sandals, because I know I'm gonna be wanting to reach for these way more. So love the Prada Chelsea boots. I think I'm gonna put these up here, because I think I like the idea of wearing them still with some girly dresses. But here I'm going to put these sandals by Lebaku. I love these, these are so cool. Look, look at the color and that, that platform. They're, they're so cool. I wore these for my birthday last year, but and they're so lightweight and they come in a thousand colors. You probably know these from last summer. These are gonna come back out as well. I'm gonna put these sneakers, the ones I told you about, the McQueen ones. 
um, I'm going to put these down here. So I'll take the Chloe Susanna boots out because I'm not really wearing those. Here's a platform pair of, these are by Ugg. These are like so lightweight. I did a, um, a job with them and I just love these so much. They're like Spice Girls, aren't they? Look, look, if you want to be my lover. I'll leave the docks, these will always stay there. I think I might take these out because again, same reason as the loafers, the other ones. Just not wearing this particular type of shoe at the moment. It's a bit too hard. You know, like knock knock. So these are by Arizona Love. I love these. They're so good. It's so, good. It's so comfortable. It's so good. I'm going to put those here for now, but they might actually end up moving. But yeah, I'm liking this because now I'm getting more like sandals and getting ready to wear like that kind of stuff. These don't need to stay here. I think these are going to go under the bed as well. I love these. I searched high and low for these. These were sold out on Zara. Who remembers these? If you do, leave a comment below if you remember these. They were gone on Zara, like I said. So I went into like panic mode. I had to find them. So I looked for them and I found them on eBay. And that's a tip I'll give you. If you can't find a pair of um, like amazing shoes that you're looking for, check on eBay and more than likely you will find them because that's how I got these. And for the rest I've put here, these are espadrilles. I've got a pair in cream and then the black as well. Um, these are old Topshop, these kind of neon kitten heels. It's like a tallish kitten heel, but I like how wide the bottom is. Samed. Gotta have one pair of heels <laughs> and I love this colour. So, and again, look at that heel. I just realised it's that same kind of like flares out at the bottom. And under here we have my Dr. Martin lace up sandals you've seen on me. And then I've got these as well by is it LAQ, Lock, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Anyway, so these are flat nude sandals. I like it. Nice wearable heel as well. So keep those down there. And that's kind of my shoe spring section sorted this is what i don't mind wearing in spring but on a, a cooler day obviously my vintage jacket you guys have seen this i love this jacket so much it's so cool so good over anything then obviously i've got the vintage jackets here so those will stay my men's blazers all oversized actually they're all suits I get them from the thrift shop and I don't just buy the blazer, I buy the whole suit. And if the pants, which are usually too big, I just take a belt and just cinch it in. I'll put a picture on the screen of one. I just cinched it with a good, simple black belt. And I have one from Topshop. Um, again, I've had it like eons and I just wear it with everything. This one right here. And then I've got this tweed blazer. Love this, but this is again, because of the material, it's quite heavy. So I'm not gonna wear that now. But this is going to look so nice in the fall. So good. All right. And then we've got skirts back here. This one I'm not going to wear right now because it's not the time of the right time of the year. It's a wool skirt. Slip skirts. And these are all fine. I think I'll hold on to these. These are sleeveless um, knits, which I really like. It's fit so well, like just to wear them as is, or especially with like a shirt underneath, a men'sy shirt. And you put this on it's so nice it's like a nice light piece to wear when it's chillier um and then i've got a couple of other leather jackets this is from rixo i really like this one that's gonna look good over um, dresses and stuff so I'll, I'll hold on to that i'm going to show you the hallway next where i've got the coats that i'm not really reaching for as much but i also have there a couple of trench coats that i do like to wear during the springtime so I'm going to put this with those. Let me just show you where this is going to go. Okay, so we are in the hallway now. There's a hello skylight. Um, so this is where I've got like a clothing rack of the most worn outerwear I was wearing during the winter time. So this is where I just put it in the hallway. But I also keep the trenches that I probably will be reaching for a little bit, which is this one and the yellow underneath. This is the Dior thrifted men's one, which is right here as well. And then we have a green leather one that I found from eBay. Oh God, that contrasting stitch is so good. If you're wondering what all this is, foliage, just lots of foliage. So that's where I keep that stuff in the hallway. I know, it's not very organized, is it? Okay, so that's kind of an idea of the outerwear so you can see what I want to be wearing, which is mostly um, 
switching from like woolen and obviously wool coats I'm going to switch instead to the trench coats that you saw the orange that yellow the bright one probably more the orange girl I love wearing that orange one um, and also I want to start wearing like boxier lightweight jackets now the kind I mean I have two behind me but I'm only going to show you one because I don't want this video to turn into like a haul video because it's not but I have two new jackets I'm just going to show which one should I show I'll show you the green one <laughs> it's this one it's from the Frank Frankie shop it's oversized and it's one size only. It's not gonna work with this because I'm wearing like wide leg pants. I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, it looks really weird with what I'm wearing. But it's the cut of it. It's just really, really boxy and I love it. Just love that shape. That. Anyway, so when we have cooler days um, and I want to wear something that's not, it's just not a blazer, but I wanna wear something that's more casual, I'll reach for something like this, um, but I'll show you properly, probably in the cutaways, the kind of things I'm looking to wear instead. Very, very feather lightweight, but quite oversized, so you can wear something contrasting that's a little bit slimmer underneath. So that's the vibe I'm going for. Now, in terms of dresses, my rotation is way slower. I hold on to a lot of my dresses because um, I just love them. I'm, I'm a dress girl. I'm, I'm either the edgy kind of girl or I'm like the dressy wearing dresses kind of girl. I always like anchor it with like the chunky sandals or the boots, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of my vibe. Then there is this dress, which is really like, it's, I mean, it's maxi, it's right down to the ground. Farm Rio gifted me this, which is really, really nice of them. And she's wearing a vintage bag as a, as a necklace, as you do in Karen's wardrobe. Over here to the dresses, rotation is way slower. So I will though weed out the things that just like Michael's saying, it's just not your style anymore, or maybe it doesn't fit. I know this doesn't fit me. This is my Zara, and I never wore it, which is really bad of me. And I got this last year, but it already doesn't feel like me. And it's hard to explain that how you can feel like your, your taste is changing in some ways so much, but I'm not gonna hold on to this because it also doesn't fit me anymore. That's actually the main reason. Even I like Ditsy Prince, I don't like the particular color combination of this. And also this feels, I remember when I put this on, it felt too restricting. So that's, that's coming out. So all I'm doing for dresses is I'm just weeding out. Okay. This one doesn't fit right. It's a shame because this is a nice dress. But, and whenever I wear it, I feel like it makes me look bigger than I am in the wrong sense. Because I love oversized. But there's a difference between something that's oversized and cut right and something that's oversized and cut wrong and this falls into the latter of the two which you wouldn't think because it's got amazing hanger appeal but when i wear it it's just not it's not quite right so um that will either go into the donation pile or i'll put it on my vestiaire one or the other this i actually have in my vestiaire this is by who is it again road road so if anyone's after it it's listed in there who remembers this this is by is it the me the me or my me oh, i'll put them on the screen i've worn them black owned business so good i love their things their aesthetic is amazing it's like a cocoa brown color 100 percent linen completely open at the back just crisscrosses at the base of your back oh color and pattern in the springtime and in the summertime as well which is why that's what you're seeing here it's just a lot of it's just a lot of that really going through to this the darker stuff i'm not going to keep this anymore i'll take the hanger out this is by end of the stories it's a cap sleeved but it doesn't quite hang right on me and then also the start again the style is not Sometimes it feels a little too milk, milk made. I don't know. I have to be very careful with, with what I pick. Because, for example, this is from Amber the Stories. And I, oh my God, I still have the tag on. <gasps> oh my God, that's so bad. This has an open back from Amber the Stories. But I love this. It's amazing. Yes, I'm checking. And it does have pockets. <laughs> this is great. This is, oh, this I can't wait to wear again. Um, I try to avoid things that I think will date too quickly or it just doesn't fit correctly. Those are the two things that I personally am looking for and I'm trying to decide what to keep and what not to. It's a rainbow explosion. I love it. Oh my God, these ones still fit. Oh my God. Jeans are the, the great equalizer to let you know. These still fit. Okay, so these are keepers. These have um, 
I think it's the only jeans I have that have a rip in them. These are Everlane, these jeans. I always like them, I like the wash of them. Um, I don't usually like too many blue jeans that are skinny, but I like the rinse of these, the cut. It's really nice, straight. It has a teeny, like the teeniest bit of stretch, like really teeny. But yeah, these are fine. All right, so I'm gonna try on the next pair. Okay, another pair of Everlane. Let's see if these, yeah, these are fine too. Oh, these are great. These are more high-waisted, slightly, slightly straighter and a little bit wider. So these are great. God, yeah. All right, so these, these are staying. Okay, I think these are Rachel Comey. Yeah, these are Rachel Comey jeans. I'll keep these. These are great. These are the Legion jeans. Wide leg. See the bottom of them. So I'm literally just going through my jeans just to see, do I still like them? Same thing. Do they still feel like me? Is it still jeans that I would want to wear, still like to wear? So far, so good. But I know there's a jean in here that doesn't fit me anymore. I'm just trying to get to it. Hang on. These are made well. This, this part. I like the way it fits here. Okay, now we have these ones. These are, looks like a pair of vintage Levi's I've had. Um, these ones don't fit too bad. Slouch that I like, so yeah. These ones stay, the ones before don't. Oh my God, these are some Topshop jeans. <laughs> and they're tight. I don't know. Can I do them up? We'll do that, right? Let's see if that means anything by doing that. Okay, they fit. Bloody hell, they're tight. I'm hot. You know what, I'm still exercising, so I'm still gonna keep these, sod it. But I think, I think they're okay. They're, they're wider at the bottom, and I always love the cut of these, so I'm gonna hold on to them. Okay, another pair of wide leggy type of wide leg, wide leggy type wide leg. <laughs> 70s looking, these are by Cezanne. Woo! They are tight, but bloody hell, they still fit. I do, I do still like them. I mean, this is kind of doing that because it's still kind of struggling to stay shut. <laughs> I like the butt in them. No pockets except at the front, so it keeps it kind of like 1970s look. These I'm gonna keep. These are, or am I? Are these Zara? Yeah, they are. God, they, God, they're quite baggy. Because of this, it doesn't fit right. Kick it out. Okay, so these are my Ganny jeans. It's basically the blue version of the black that I had on earlier. Um, I'll keep these. I've, I always like these jeans. That's why I ended up getting them in the blue. I kind of wished it was a bit more snug here. You know, the right jean kind of pulls you in, but comfortably pulls you in. Not like, <gasps> God, breathe. not like that. I don't mean that. I still love these jeans. So I will keep these. I love the slouch of these ones, the cut of these ones, the way the twisted seam goes down the leg. Perfect. A Goldie, I love A Goldie jeans, but oh my god, these don't fit. I could just tell. Oh, and the pockets are too low. Flipping it. Oh my god. Okay, I did them up. Bloody hell, this is hot, hot work. They don't look too bad when they're on, actually. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna hold on to these. Because even though the pockets are, I don't know, tell me what you think, but I think I'm going to hold on to these ones. For now, these are the A Goldie pinch jeans. They're actually got raw hem, uh, so it's got some threads hanging out. These I would just wear with like flat sandals, just really easy, and a t-shirt like this. You know, very comfortable, very easy. And a lot of these jeans I've shown you here, that's how I think I'm going to be styling them. Right, next ones. Okay, so these are very stretchy. These are by 
Free Assembly. Free Assembly is a, a sustainable brand that's sold at Walmart. I think there's the most inexpensive jeans. How much do they pay? 20, 30 dollars? But they, I feel like they have the look because of that color of something that's more expensive, right? Here, let me just show you. I mean, for that price, and they're very stretchy, even though, and I don't like really stretchy jeans because I don't want to feel like I'm wearing leggings, um, but I like that they're very, very comfortable. So these are great. They really do uh, work wonders for your bum. A little bit on the higher waisted side. These ones are definitely still available. I'll link them because they are, read the reviews. They're very, very comfortable. Now we have Rachel Comey. It's the Legion jeans. Here's the white version. But I made the mistake in getting the same size, but in the same size in white, they are smaller. So I should have gone up a size. Oh, help me. I'm in. I'm not keeping them. For me, they're just a little bit too, too tight and they don't have the volume here. Right, so not keeping. Okay, so these are H&M. I've had these for a minute. I don't know if I like the way they, they fit. Like the bottom looks like it's too, too um, short. I don't think I'm keeping. Okay, so these are the Everlane ones and these aren't too bad, but again, I feel like the fit is not quite right here and in the crotch area. Sorry, now I'm doing like a massive crotch, crotch shot. I think they're too big. These are going. Okay, and then for bags, um, these are the bags that I really reach for the most. You can see them all here. So these are kind of just staying the same. I kind of self purge. So you, you kind of already know these. I haven't decided about the box bag up here. Um, I, I have still reached for it every now and again, and I still still quite like it. So I don't know. Mark Cross, I still like this bag. The stowed will go because I'm just not wearing it. Shirts and blouses, I keep them here. I kind of mildly coordinate from the lightest going all the way across. There is also knits in here, but these, I don't have anywhere else to put them. So I just keep them here. These are like all my chunkier sort of knits. These are my fisherman sweaters that I pick up from vintage shops. Um, this is a bit of a mess, <laughs> but this is these are all like, like thinner, thinner knits down here. Okay, so that is it. That's really like a summary of like my spring shifting. I tried on the jeans. I just picked out all the jeans that don't really fit me anymore or I don't like the style of them anymore. Here they are. These are all going to be donated. I'll put the bag on vestiaire. I mentioned this before in another bag video and I didn't, so I will for this. Um, and then the dresses were okay. I think my biggest tip is just to figure out what is more your style at the moment because this is a good purging moment. You know, when you're switching over seasons, it gives you a chance to sort of look at the stuff you're putting away to decide do I want to put it away or will it not be me when it's time to wear it again so that's kind of what I've been doing as well I thought I would take you uh, into this whole space and show you how I'm sort of thinking about my wardrobe the shoes as well but yeah I think that is that is my lot I'll see you next week Friday actually no I won't I am going to be doing this month yeah this month maybe into next month too i'm going to be doing two videos a week so i'm going to be doing a video next week tuesday if you remember when i did that last year i'm going to be doing it again so you are going to see me next week tuesday for the next video not friday tuesday so tuesdays and fridays that's when i'm going to be posting my videos for the next few weeks and then um we'll see how it goes okay. can't wait actually what is oh i already know what's going to be on <laughs> next tuesday i am going to be going um to consignment shops with you some designer consignment shops in the city because there are lots of them out there and um yeah it's fun and i want to take you to where i like to go anyway that's tuesday's video so don't miss it all right <laughs> hit the thumbs up button if you've got some ideas on inspiring you to go through your wardrobe and don't forget to subscribe to this channel um you can follow me as usual on instagram i'll see you on tuesday bye <laughs>